<laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, one of the more wild things I've ever heard in my that life. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, and my other quick story. So today I was sitting in the um, in the gambling cave, whatever the fuck we call it, TVs. I was, I was sitting in the room where TVs are, mm -hmm. and there are a bunch of the producers in there. And um, the rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and um, one of them uh, was like. Uh, He's like, oh, did you know you can, like, I guess, I guess it, it, they were looking at the Barstool Instagram. And I, I guess there was an Instagram posted where, like, you can basically highlight text on shirts now in pictures. And, and then uh, because of that, you can highlight tattoos. And the whole thing is to say that, like, I, I'm trying to pull up the video, but we have no internet at the internet company. Um... No, I guess it's on the Barstool Instagram. Whatever. The point is, there was some young girl. She got a Chinese tattoo on her back, and the Instagram is like it's like highlighting the tattoo, and then it translates it all in a, all in a picture. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was very cool. And I immediately was like, "What does Riley Reed's back tattoo say?" And then right. they went and found it out. And it, the translation on the that actual technology app was very not useful. <laughs> like it yeah, wasn't. I'd imagine yeah. it wasn't making any goddamn sense. Right, right. So I was like, I'm just gonna Google it because I never knew what Riley Reed's back tattoo meant, and. Them saying Asian back tattoos translation made me think of it. Do you know what Riley Reed's back tattoo says? I have not a clue in the world. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, one of the more wild things I've ever heard in my that life. Is, I would say out of all of like the <laughs> euphemisms, that might be like the most used euphemism ever. The fact that she was like, I need that in a Chinese symbol on my spot. On my back. <laughs> that is hilarious. It is. It is. It's it's not an exact translation. I looked up, so I because that because that technology was so not useful, I decided to look it up. And I, I found a website called Guys Gab. Where this article is from 2017, it feels like it looks like kind of like a, almost like a barstool knockoff in 2017, yeah. like someone who kind of wanted to be like us. Yeah. And then I started reading it, and and I'm I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do a dramatic reading real quick. Okay. Okay. Uh, I won't do the full thing because it's long. It's long. Um, but here it is. The first time I laid eyes on Riley Reed was in Vivid's brand new Faces 36, and I was instantly taken by her. Even though she wasn't really my type, a little smaller up top, had a bit of a retro look going. Not to mention Riley Reed's aggressive back, which was, uh, Riley Reed's back tattoo, which was pretty aggressive. But that unique back tattoo set her apart from other adult stars, and she became known for it. This stunning looker with a tight teen body started out her smut degree at the young age of 19, and in just a few short years, she's become a fixture in the adult industry. If you watch any of her scenes, you know why, because she puts on a performance like no other, and you can tell that she's loving every minute of it. But in the beginning, she faced an uphill battle, as her back tattoo was a bit of a hindrance, since tat tattoos weren't really accepted back then. Sure, you'd see the occasional porn star with a cute little tattoo on her wrist or ankle, or maybe even a tramp stamp. But Riley Reed's massive kanji tattoo runs the length of her spine, and is impossible to miss. And forget about trying to hide it with makeup for scenes or photo shoots, she just has to own her bold tattoo. You can see Riley Reed's tattoo in all its glory below. Here's a photo for everybody. It's, if you haven't seen it, it's yeah, a nice no. picture. Yeah. Um, what does Riley Reed's back tattoo mean? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> but that's not exactly true. And then it has the quote of all the, the, the Chinese characters. Yeah. Is what you can see on Riley Reed's back. But according to one of my Chinese friends, that actually translates to read, life brings you when lemons make lemonade. Don't! <laughs> Riley Reed has even acknowledged that mistake in an interview with AVN stating, My tattoo is not an exact translation, but the concept remains the same. Hey, it happens. Either way, I wouldn't kick her out of bed. Kick her out of bed. Bad tattoo or not. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to think of her, like, what what made her... Like, what what could what could you get on there, that, that, on there that's more cliche? Like, what phrase... I honestly don't think there is. Uh, yeah, you know, like, I'm trying to think of something Treat more. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Yeah, like yeah, the, the golden, golden rule. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, just, but like. That's, that's what we should do. It is what it Anyone is. Anyone who fucking gets caught with a burner. Has to get. Has that. to get the golden rule tattooed in <laughs> Chinese down their spine. On their fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Some it, inglorious bastard like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, I'll tell you what that fucking tattoo. That tattoo's hot shit. That's that tattoo. It's fucking hot. 
And ha. that exact picture, that, that like yeah. pose, it's like, yeah, I don't care what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it could fucking be the words of mind conflict or whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good to me. You ever get into, into a rabbit hole and you find one where she doesn't have it yet? That's, no. that's always wild. Ooh. What, dude? Oh, yeah. Bro, that sounds like you're watching some illegal shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking per statement by Nick. I expect that from us, not from him. She started when she was 19, Nick. There wasn't many years Wasn't many years before that. <laughs> she. I don't think she got that until I'm, like a yeah. few years no, no, she might. You're right. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> no, she, um... That's hilarious. She is, uh... So I've definitely yeah, seen got, one about my mine. first tattoo on my right shoulder at 18, a design I drew up that I imagined from a music note. It's a heart with a dying yang inside the heart. Okay. And then a peace symbol falling from the heart. It was my expression of coexisting love. I, I, I've seen the back, the, the other tattoo. Uh, I never really got it. Um... I still don't, but I've heard the explanation now. Yeah, now we know. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.